Okay. So just standing with your roller next to you upright. So in case you need it to help you balance, right? To start with. So feet comfortably under the hips, toes pointed forward, lifting tall through the back of the head, shoulders relaxed, lift the heart, let the tailbone drop. Okay, so we'll just start as we usually do with a few breaths, lifting and lowering the heels, right? So inhaling as we float the heels up. You can bring your arms into it if you like and exhale back down. So taking some nice full breaths as we lift up on our inhale. Again, arms can go or not with you and exhale back down. Nice full breath. Good, one more time. Inhale up, maybe holding a little bit longer and exhaling back down and letting the weight shift to one leg, floating the other knee up in front as we stay nice and tall, hold and breathe, looking at a point in front of you maybe. Good, and lower down, float the other knee up. So floating that knee up, hold and breathe. And back down. And then one more time, we'll shift over to our first leg. If you need your hand on the roller for this, we're gonna do a heel pump, right? So we're just gonna lift, pump that heel up and down as we breathe. So that Calf is like a second heart, right? Pumping the blood back up. You might get a few cracks. <laughs> okay, and then we'll switch to the other side. So floating your second leg up in front, hold and pump that heel up and down, which I can't do this side, so. Yeah, and breathe. Good. <laughs> All right, and bring that foot down. Great, and then just picking up the roller, bring it behind us. So just to open our shoulders and kind of stretch our chest a little bit, relaxing our arms here. Yeah, feeling that chest open. You might do a little twist side to side if you like to kind of sway. Yeah, sway. All right, and then coming center, sliding the roller out and in front of us, we'll press into the ends with our hands. And then as we lift this roller up, we're going to slide our shoulder blades down. See, feel our rib cage kind of pull back so it's in line with the pelvis, right? And then bending the elbows without letting your head come forward. See how far back you can bring that roller without letting the head move, right? Behind, toward the back of the head. Yeah, and then lift up and bring it back in front. And then again, lifting up as our shoulders and rib cage slide down, heads lifted, bend the elbows. You might even be able to bring the roller all the way down to your neck, but don't let the head come forward. Right? Really open the shoulder that way. And then lifting that roller up and back down. Great. And one more time, we're gonna lift it up, shoulders down. Great. And then holding our roller over our head, Inhale, tall, exhale, side bend over to one side. And as we inhale, we reach it out and we exhale back to the top. Good, inhale, lifting tall, exhaling over to the other side. Good. Inhaling, reaching out and exhaling back to the top. Good. Inhale, lift tall, and then we'll twist on the exhale, taking a look behind that shoulder and back to center. Inhale, tall, exhale, twist the other way. 
and back to center. Go ahead and let your roller come down in front of you and just pressing our bottom hand into the roller, relaxing our top arm. Give it a few little swings, relax your shoulders. All right. And then we'll um, come to the end of our mat. You can just hold your roller or wherever you're standing. I don't have a mat. My roller moves it around. Okay, inhale here, exhale. We're just gonna roll down, letting that roller pull us down to the floor. And then you can just rest it down on the floor with maybe with your hands on top of the roller here. And we'll bend and straighten the knees. And relax, just hang. Shoulders and arms relax. And then we're going to push our roller away from us and walk out into pike or down dog. A little kitty. <laughs> so the roller's ahead of us there. Letting the knees be a little bit bent lifting the tailbone and just letting our heels stretch down, letting the body move around. If you'd like to shift your weight a little forward and back, you can also come up toward the hands, back toward the heels. Or just Side to side. And then we'll come down to our knees and around to find the roller behind our back. So the middle of the back area, feet on the ground, hands behind the head, lift hair if you haven't. And then we'll lift our hips and use our feet to pull that roller up and push it back down, relaxing into the roller, making sure we don't go any farther down than our low rib cage, right? Lower half of our rib cage. Don't go down to the floating ribs, don't go down to the low back. So kind of Letting our body just relax into this little massage. You can close your elbows if you like. You can open them. You can take a little turn to one side to kind of get into that shoulder and turn to the other side. Whatever feels good. So this is a way to reset our nervous system. Helping our body to come back to a even balanced equilibrium, right? As we roll and breathe. All right, and then we'll bring that roller down to the shoulder blade area, middle of the back area, lower the hips. And then we'll arch back over the roller. Feel free to adjust it. You can bring it a little higher up your back if you want. Just whatever feels good to hang out here and breathe. And then if it's comfortable, you can also let go of your hands and let your arms go over your head. And yeah. if that's comfortable. Otherwise, keep your hands clasped behind your head. Right, and then with our hands clasped behind our head, again, we're gonna take an inhale. And as we exhale, we're gonna draw our rib cage toward our pelvis to bring us up. And then we'll inhale back over the roller. And keep going, exhaling to bring the rib cage toward the pelvis and lift up. Kind of emphasizing the back extension here more than the up. 
upward part of this, right? Exhale up. Nice full breath. Nice full inhale as we go back. And exhale up. And this time we're going to inhale back. As we exhale up, we're going to float our left leg up as we come up and then we'll just turn and look to the left, right? Looking back over that elbow, back to center, lowering that foot down, arching back over the roller as you inhale and then exhaling up, right leg floats up and turn to the right. Just a little twist back to center, lowering the foot, arch back over the roller on your inhale, exhale up, floating the left, me and turning to the left and back to center, arch back over the roller one more time and exhale, floating the right knee up, turn to the right. Back to center, lowering that foot as you arch back. Good. This time we'll exhale up the center and when you come up, Push that roller a little farther down your back to make sure it's under your shoulder blades, because it probably isn't. <laughs> and then bring one leg and then the other leg up into tabletop, reaching our arms, feeling ourselves lifting off that roller a little bit. We're gonna flex our feet and we're gonna reach through our right leg. You might pump your arms if you like. It's up to you if you wanna do that part. And then bend your knee, exhale, Extend through your left heel and inhale, bend, right? Exhale, extend through your right heel. Inhale, bend. Good, exhale, extending that left leg. Good, then we're gonna add to it if you want, optional. We're gonna extend that right leg, lower it down a bit, lift it up and bend, good. Exhaling as you extend that left leg, maybe you take it down a little bit, lift it back and bend. A couple more, nice full breath, reach. Lower if you want, lift up and bend. And extend, lower and lift and bend. We'll stop pumping, bring our feet one at a time to the ground, hands behind the head and arch back over the roller again. Good. Take a couple breaths here. Good, and then next exhale, go ahead and draw the rib cage toward the pelvis, lift up. And once again, we push that roller down so it's under our shoulder blades, straighten one leg, straighten the other leg, reach for your feet, and roll up, and when you come up, you're just gonna round over, reach for your feet, Good. lift up on the inhale, shoulders relaxed, exhale, curl the tailbone under. When we find that roller behind us, we lift our arms up by our ears, inhale, reach for the feet, exhale, roll up, and stretch the legs, Good. inhale, look tall, Exhale, shoulders relax as you round back and lift the arms. You might keep, add a little more challenge by keeping your arms up as you exhale up or not. <laughs> I'm taking a big stretch over the legs. Good. Nice, full breath. Exhale back. Finding that roller, arms up, and maybe they stay there as you inhale. And exhale up. Great. And one more. So shoulders relaxed as we round back. Lift, inhale, and exhale up. Great. Take a stretch over the legs and lift up, and then we will come to the roller behind our neck, right? So under the neck here, lift your hair if you have it. Right, so right under the occiput, tucking the chin down, reaching our hands for our feet. 
and lifting our hips. Just gonna take our head side to side so we get a little massage in our neck area. And a little stretch back there. So we're waking up our, there's a lot of channels that run through the back of the neck and across the scalp, right? A lot of meridians, a lot of channels. So it's really nice to kind of stimulate those. All right, and then coming center, relax the hips down and just resting your head on the roller. Draw your right leg in, pull that knee in toward your chest, toward your shoulder, stretch your left leg out, okay? And kind of stretch the legs away from each other here. Yeah. And then slide your left leg up and switch. You're just gonna stretch the legs away from each other as you sort of pull that knee a bit in toward the shoulder. Yeah. And then switch again. And here you may or may not like a strap around your foot or a band, and we're gonna straighten our leg. So either holding onto that leg or using a strap or a band, whatever is your preference. So giving that leg a little stretch here. If you wanna move your foot, you can also point and flex the foot or tilt it side to side, move the ankle. I can't do this foot. <laughs> and then keeping that leg or getting that leg nice and stretched out by bending and straightening it or whatever. Easier with your head up like this, right? <laughs> All right, and then getting our leg as straight as we can, foot flexed, we're gonna slowly take it across the body until you feel that line, <laughs> sensation going all the way up into your hip, into your sacrum or your knee starts to bend, and that's where you stop and breathe. Right? And just breathe into that stretch. Really important to have the legs straight and high, yeah. or as high as possible. That's where we get that, keep our sacrum healthy. All right, and then lifting the leg up and then opening, keeping it high and straight, opening it out to the side and keeping our left hip down. Right? Keeping that leg as high and straight as we can to get a stretch in the adductors, the groin area. And then lift back to the top. And then you can slide your left leg up. And if you're using a strap you can, or a band, you can switch, stretch your right leg out. However you wanna do that, switch the legs. And again, we're stretching here. You might bend and straighten, point and flex and point the foot. Also trying to get this other leg as straight and flat on the ground as possible also is part of the getting that, this leg a stretch, right? And we might tilt our foot side to side or whatever feels good to that foot and ankle. And getting this leg as straight as we can, foot flexed, taking it across the body a little bit till we feel that sensation and we stop and breathe. You might be able to slowly go a little farther, but just making sure your knee doesn't bend. And then lifting and opening out to the side with our right hip down, this leg is straight and as high as we can. Boy, a band, a strap is really nice because you can really hang on to that leg. <laughs> so yeah, getting into the inner leg area. All right, and then we'll lift the leg up and we're gonna take this, if you're using a strapper band, you're gonna take it off, right? You're gonna hold on to your leg wherever you can and slide your right leg, 
foot along the ground and bring that leg up and slide, um, stretch your left leg down. We're gonna go into a slow bicycle stretch, right? So give that leg a stretch and then slide your left leg up and switch. Give that leg a stretch and then slide the right leg up and switch, right? So just taking a slow bicycle stretch here. And then you can continue doing that or you can bring your hands behind your head, resting your head and hands on the roller and going into the bicycle. We're gonna do the splits, right? And then that bottom leg bends and you draw that leg up as your top leg stretches down and you do the splits and keep going. So do the splits and then nice big bicycle, right? That's the way we like to do it because we really wanna move our joints. You can flex and point your feet if you want. You could just get a nice big, do the splits, don't miss the splits. Yeah. And then we're gonna reverse. So wherever you're at, right? That top leg bends, you, slot, you draw the bottom leg up, top leg slides down and do the splits. Top leg bends, do the splits. Top leg bends, do the splits. A little bit more challenging. <laughs> Especially if your legs don't go completely straight. <laughs> <laughs> right, <laughs> but you're gonna do the best you can. Whatever bicycle that you can do is fine. <laughs> and breathe. As long as you're bicycling. <laughs> All right, and then whatever leg goes up, just gonna keep it there. Draw your other leg up to meet it and hug your knees. Release your head, hug your knees. Relax your body. All right, and then with our feet on the ground, we're gonna push the roller out from behind us and just rest your hands on top of it there. Oh, and just let your knees sway over to one side, shoulders on the ground. And take them over to the other side. Oh, a well-deserved twist. Okay, a couple more times, maybe. Sway the leg and our low back move. All right, and then when the knees come to the top, we'll take our roller and bring it between the legs like that. Kind of find the middle, right? Somewhere there, wherever it feels balanced, arms by our side. However, it feels comfortable, hang on to it, right? Inhale here. And then as we exhale, we're going to squeeze that roller, not too hard, but just squeeze it a little bit and peel off of the mat or peel off of the ground. I have no boundaries here, no mat, no borders, no boundaries. Okay. <laughs> and then we press the hips up at the top as we inhale and exhale, melt the spine back down. Relax and inhale. Again, gently squeezing the roller, peeling off of the ground as we exhale. Relaxing our shoulders, pressing those hips up and exhale back down. Right, another deep breath and peel off the ground. Again, not forcefully squeezing, but squeezing our roller a little bit. And then at the top of our bridge, we'll take a few breaths to squeeze and sort of press the hips up a little more, right? So as we exhale, we're just gonna gently squeeze and sort of press up a little bit more. So I can really keep those hips lifted, right? <laughs> Feeling our glutes, <laughs> good. Relaxing the shoulders. Good, last one. And then on our next exhale, we're gonna go ahead and melt the spine all the way down. Oh, and then grabbing hold of your roller, lifting our legs up into this tabletop. We're gonna take the roller across our knees like that. 
and take a little stretch and just kind of rock your body for a moment. And then coming center with our hands on top of the roller. Inhale as we exhale, pressing legs into roller and pressing our hands into the roller. In other words, pressing the roller into our legs. <laughs> and then relax as you inhale. So a few times, exhale, press against the roller, against the legs and release. We feel our tailbone lifting up a little bit off of the ground right as we exhale. Inhale, relax, exhale, press. Inhale, relax, a little stretch for the tailbone. Last one. Good, and then we'll put the roller back between our legs like it was with our legs up and tabletop, arms out from our shoulders, and then taking our legs to one side, anchoring our shoulders as we inhale, gently squeeze and lift the roller as you exhale. And then to the other side on the inhale, again, shoulders are anchored, gently squeeze and lift to the top. Inhale to the side, exhale out. Good, inhale over, exhale. Using our breath and our obliques to lift. If you want to straighten your legs, you can or not, and then continue to the side and exhale back, or however straight they want to be, right? Inhale to the side and exhale back. And then we'll add a little circle. So we'll take it into a little baby corkscrew. Inhale to the side, exhaling the legs a little bit away from us around to the other side and back to the top. And then alternate your circles, take it around to the other side and back. Good. Feel like we're pressing a little circle with our sacrum into the ground as we make our circle right circling the legs away and shoulders relax one more take it over away and back to the top and when you come back to the top you can go ahead and bend your knees and take your roller out put your feet on the ground and we're going to just go ahead and put our roller underneath our feet here so you want to feel like you're grabbing, probably helps if you don't have slippery socks on, grabbing your roller with your toes and your heels is called bird on a perch, right? So feel like you're really gripping your roller and move it away and back. Just kind of roll it away and back like that, right? Feeling all your feet muscles engage as you grip that roller. And then stop and slap your roller with your feet to relax your feet. <laughs> right. Now, if you don't want to bridge with your feet on the roller, all you have to do is put your feet on the other side of the roller like that. Otherwise, feet on the roller. Inhale. As you exhale, press your hips up into a bridge. And now, whether you're Feet are on the roller on the ground, you're gonna move. So if you're on the roller, you're gonna move that roller just like you did before, a little back, a little way and back. Or if your feet are on the ground, you're gonna push pull with your feet. Push pull like that, right? With your hips up and breathe. All right, and then stop moving. And exhale down, letting your spine relax and your hips relax at the bottom. And we're going to open our knees apart. So if your feet are on the ground, you're resting your legs on the roller. Or if your feet are on the roller, you're like that. Okay, and just let your knees relax open here. And then we're going to press our hips up a little bit. Kind of float them up and take a couple of breaths. All 
Great, and go ahead and relax those hips back down. And now if your feet are not on the roller, you wanna go ahead and put them on the roller so that you can roll the roller away from you, straighten the legs, pull it back in, open the knees, roll it away, pull it back in, open the knees, let your hips relax, pull it back in. And then next time you pull the roller in, you're gonna reach, lift your head and shoulders, straighten your legs and roll up with your roller. <laughs> and bring it back here. <laughs> All right, and then we'll take a little stretch here with your ankles on the roller. So you're gonna lift the sits bones. With the legs on the roller, it's, um, obviously a lot more stretch back there. So be careful, don't force it, just let your body sort of relax over your legs here. Okay. A lot for the sacrum. But it does give us a good stretch, all right. And then we'll do a little bit of rolling back with our roller under our feet. So we're going to inhale here as we exhale, bending the knees as we roll back to our rib cage or shoulder blade area. Inhale, exhale, straighten the legs and rolling back. So kind of just, if you want to stretch in between, you can, right? Just going with your breath. Inhale, exhale back. And I would. Suggest not going all the way back, just back to your shoulder blades. And inhale, exhale up. If you want to make it a little more challenging, we can lift one leg up, roll back, roll up and switch to the other leg, or not. <laughs> Exhaling back, inhale, exhaling up. Just keep both legs on the roller, up to you. Shoulders relaxed, full breath. Okay, and then next time you come up, or if you're lifting your legs when you're even on both sides, you can stay there, take another little stretch over your legs. And then we'll put the roller underneath our calves. You might stack one calf on top of the other for a little weight and just kind of massaging our calf, right? So we're gonna roll it up and down the calf, move the calf in and out like that. You can focus more on the lower part of your calf or upper part, there's so much sensation in there, <laughs> whatever feels good to you. And then we'll switch and roll the other calf. Sometimes I can't put weight on this calf. All right, and then we'll put both calves back on top, about in the middle, hands behind, fingers pointing, whatever direction you need them to point. And if you don't want to do this, you can also just put your feet on the ground and lift your hips, right? Because we're going to do that tricep swing. Inhaling here as we exhale, swinging the hips out and up. Roller goes up the calves. Inhale at the top. And then we draw our hips back, really pressing into the ground and lower down. Good. Nice deep breath. Exhale, swing out and up. Really pressing into the ground. Inhale, exhale as we draw the hips back to our hands and lower down. So see if we can do one more. Good. Or you can do that alternative with your feet on the ground, lifting and lowering your hips a little easier. Good. Inhale and press into the 
the ground as we draw the hips back and lower down. We, our wrists really love that, yeah? Let's go ahead and <laughs> strengthening for the wrist. Also very good um, bone loss prevention to put weight on your wrists, okay? We, we don't do it for nothing. All right, <laughs> shake it out. All right, so we're gonna bring our legs into a bit of a straddle here. Let's see, flex and rest your roller on top of your shins. Now you might need to sit on something, right? Kind of lift the sits bone so we can sit tall. You might need a, something underneath your hips. And we're just gonna lift tall and roll the roller down towards our feet. And back, back up, pulling that roller back up. All right, so just doing that a few times. Fine stretch with the roller, right? And back up. Breathe. You also can hinge without rounding your back. You don't want to round your back, you can just hinge on your hips, right? Try to keep your back more flat. Right now, when we come up to sitting again, we're going to pick up that ruler, holding it in front of us. Inhale, tall. Exhale, peel off of that invisible wall or hinge forward. Right, and then we're reaching that roller out. Feels like it's going way past our feet. We're going to flatten our back. We flatten our back. Everything lifts up. So really get your back as flat as you can, keeping our head lifted. We're gonna pulse the roller back, tiny little pulses backward. Rolling it behind us. Yeah. If you need your knees to bend, that's okay. The main thing is we wanna really get our back flat. So if you need to bend your knees a bit, that's all right. We'll stop pulsing and then we'll rotate. Look under one arm. Reach out as you do this vertical roller back to flat back, really flatten the back, lift that roller, lift your head, rotate the other way. Look under that arm. Reaching out, right? And then back one more time, flat back, really lifting, flattening the back as much as you can, keeping the arms lifted. Feels good, right? Okay, float the roller down to the ankles, hands or arms on the roller, and stack, stack, up. Feels great. All right. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'm trying to do a psychological thing. Here. Okay. <laughs> um, let's bring the roller underneath our arm. So I did mention this is going to be more a little bit of emphasis on the shoulder today, but we're of course we never just do that. Uh, so the legs as straight as you can get them. They may not be straight, or they may not be straight all the time. That's okay, but as straight as you can, and your roller under your elbow, right? And we're just going to let the rib cage drop down, right? And feel that stretch in your lats. Now your hand will be wherever it's comfortable for your neck. You don't want to push your head with your hand, right? Try to keep your neck comfortable and then pull that roller back up and just kind of rolling up and down the triceps a bit, feeling that stretch. And then now you, if you're not used to doing this, it might be a little painful, but it gets easier. <laughs> And, uh, and then you grow to love it, actually, like I do. And just kind of rolling out our triceps here, stretching the lats. Yes. All right, and then we're gonna bring our knees into a half bend and we're gonna pull the roller under our armpit. Heels lined up with our sits bones here, our tailbone, I mean. Lie down, so our roller's right under the muscle there, right? 
and then bringing our top arm forward we're going to open our book so lifting that arm and following it back and close your book so we're rolling back into the lats as we open our book if you need your bottom hand to support your head you can always you know use your bottom hand opening our book and closing our book Good. just three times all right ah uh, <laughs> opening our book we say ah uh, and closing our book we could do this all day all right when you close your book this time we're going to pull the roller a little bit more into the rib cage a little farther in and rest our head on our hand. So however far in you want to bring it, but we want to lift that rib cage, right? And then we're going to do clam. So knees are lined up, hips are stacked. We're going to press our top heel into our bottom heel to open and close, right? So inhale, open, exhale, close. And remember, you're not going to let that rib cage go. You're kind of staying engaged because you're lifting it right exhale close so we are putting pressure into that into our side body too with the roller which is always a nice little release and the next time we close relax your legs and slide that top leg straight load it up hold and down and in. So just letting that top leg slide out, float up, float down and in. Slide out, lift down and in. One more and breathe. Good. And then we're gonna straighten the leg, flex the foot, kick forward and reach back with your toes pointed, leg straight, kick forward and reach back. Right. Feel that stretch in the back of the leg and front of the leg as you breathe, lifting the rib cage. Good. One more kick back and then you're gonna stay reaching back and you're just gonna touch your toe down and do a little lift of that leg, right? So keeping that reach of that leg, touch and float. So feeling the stretch here as we reach our leg back, feeling our glutes and all this business back there, right? Just feel the feelings and breathe. <laughs> just feel it. <laughs> yeah, I feel muscles, okay. Keep going, a couple more. And bring that leg back in and relax. Ah, okay, so we're gonna come up to mermaid, just bringing ourselves up to mermaid. If you can, this is a little awkward for me, mermaid, but I love mermaid. So hands on the roller, this leg in. If this leg doesn't bend back here, it can be out here into what I call half mermaid. All right, so sitting tall and we're gonna inhale over to that roller and trying to point our chest between our hands, roll it out, make sure, press and pull it in, lifting up and open back out. So make sure that your arms are at least as wide as shoulders, right? As you bring it over, roll it away. Pull it in as you lift and open so that hip goes down, that hip lifts as we go over. Breathe, press and pull and lift and open. And we come to sitting here, just taking this hand that's on the roller by our ear. We're gonna take a side stretch to the side. Good, and then looking up. So our arm goes a little bit back as we open. 
back to side, turn your chest to point down and just reach that arm all the way down to wherever it goes and feel a stretch in the shoulder. Uh, and then reach out and lift up to sitting tall with our arms out. We'll do a twist, so inhale tall, exhale, follow one arm back and center. Inhale tall, exhale, follow the other arm back. And come center, relax your arms. The back leg's gonna come forward. The forward leg is up. We got both legs up. We're gonna pick up our roller here and hold it. We're going to, yes, you guessed it, walk on our butt. <laughs> so we're taking these little steps forward. Lifting one hip, lifting the other cheek. Oh yeah. And then we're gonna walk back to where we were. And wear out your pants. <laughs> And then we're going to come to the other side. So bring that roller down and coming onto our side with our legs straight, arm on the roller, elbow area. And then we'll just let your rib cage sink down toward the ground, feeling that nice stretch under there. And then rolling it back up. And coming back down. So just giving our, whenever you're rolling on um, the muscles, the fascia, all that stuff, if it if it's if your body's resisting or if it hurts too much, you just all you have to do is stop rolling and breathe, right? <laughs> doesn't have to move. The roller doesn't have to be moving all the time. Or it can move very slowly, right? Whatever. You, won't, you don't want it if you're resisting, if your body's resisting, it's not really doing you any good. So you have to relax into it. Just rolling our triceps. All right, and then we're going to let our knees come into that half bend and bring the ruler under our armpit. And lie down. So find that muscle and then top arm reaches forward. We're gonna open our book, following that arm back. And closing that book so a couple more times. Make sure the rollers in your shoulder muscles, right? Not on the, you're not feeling it so much on the bone. You're really feeling your lats and that shoulder in the back there. Yeah, and close your book. Okay, three times, open. <sighs> and ah, uh, close. All right, and then when we close your book, we're gonna pull that roller in closer in to our ribs. I'm gonna move up a little bit. And head on hand, so lifting that rib cage, we're gonna do clam. So pressing that top heel into the bottom heel, open the knee, close, good. Try to remember to keep the rib cage lifted <laughs> a little bit. Inhale and exhale. Hopefully your head and neck are relaxed on your hand. Right, so there's not that issue. <laughs> good, and breathe. <sighs> All right, next time you close, let your legs relax, extend that top leg and float it up, down and in. So it's like a little tentacle, right? Extending out, floating up. You might hold it just for a little moment if you like, as you lift a little tiny hold and then again. Good, and breathe. The next time your leg bends, relax it. And then extending down, flex the foot, kick forward, reach back. Inhale, kick, exhale, reach. Feeling that stretch 
Your hand can maybe, your hand might want to be on the roller, it might want to be on the ground. Nice big kicks. And the next time our leg reaches back, you're going to keep it reaching and just do a little touch down and lift. Really reaching that leg back, loading it up and down. Good. Don't let it go. Keep reaching. That way we really engage the back of the leg, right? If we reach it back like that. Breathe. Good. And let your leg relax back on top of your other leg. Come up to mermaid. And with this side, if you can get your foot close in, if you need to do this, which I do, <laughs> half mermaid on this side. Okay, hand on the roller, lifting tall. We're gonna inhale over. Try to get your chest right between your hands. Roll it out. Press and pull and lift back up and open. Inhale over. Exhale, roll it away. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, open out. Good, one more time. We always tend to do things in threes, right? Three times over, roll it out. Press and pull and lift and open. And then the hand that's on the roller comes by your ear. Good side stretch. We're gonna look under that arm a little bit. So we open to this toward the ceiling. Back to side, rotate your chest to point down and reach that arm all the way down. So we nice stretch in our shoulder. And then reaching out and up, lifting to B position. Inhale tall, exhale twist. Back to center. Inhale, tall, exhale, twist. So following that arm back and back to center. Great, relax your arms. So this leg that was folded out and behind you comes forward and this leg comes forward into diamond. So both legs in that loose bend. If you want your roller under your knees because it's so relaxing for the legs and hips, you can. <laughs> And then we're gonna just take a stretch forward over those legs. So yeah, I need it for support for my ankle, but some people have the tight hips and it's nice to have the support under the, under the legs as you stretch. All right, and then we're gonna come on to our all fours for a little bit. So coming around with the roller underneath your hands with your base of your hand centered on the roller. So we're gonna um, start by just doing a little cat cow to move the spine, right? Rounding and then coming into an arch and then just letting your spine move for a moment here, right? Rounding and lifting into an arch. Great. Oh, can't resist that one. All right, come to neutral and stretch your left leg straight back, toes touching. We're gonna reach our right arm out and we're gonna reach and lift the arm and leg up. Thumb might be pointed up on that uh, with that right arm. So just feel like you're lifting up off the roller, right? Kind of breathe. And bring it back down, stretch the right leg straight, toes touching, reaching that left arm out, lift. Again, feel like you're lifting up off the roller. Good. 
and lower back down. Great. And then we're gonna put our elbows or forearms on the roller here. And you can come into plank or half plank. Right? If you're if you're in a plank, really lift your pelvis. Don't let it drop down. So keep it lifted. Right? And just take some deep breaths. Or if you have your knees on the ground, that's great too. What we're going to do is we're going to lift one leg a little bit and we're going to draw the knee toward the shoulder and then stretch it back and put it back down. And then lift the other leg, draw the knee in towards the shoulder, stretch it back, put it down. Again, on, I have to be on my knee for this side, right? So I'll show you that one. <laughs> draw the knee in, stretch back. And then lift the other leg, draw the knee in, stretch it back. And go ahead and bring your knees onto the ground. Stretch back to your heels for a moment. And then we're going to push our roller away from us to come onto our belly. And arms on the roller, a little bit above the wrist or halfway up the forearm, whatever you need to do so that you don't roll over your fingers. Okay, thumbs are pointed up, arms are a little wider than shoulders apart. And we're gonna initiate by shrugging our shoulders up toward our ears on the inhale. We're gonna shrug our shoulders down on the exhale and then press and pull the roller in a little bit. And let it go back out. So initiating with the scapula, right? Shrug up, shrug down, press and lift, coming up a little more and back out. So just breathing here. Inhale, exhale, shrug down, press and lift, and back. Maybe you get a little higher as you go. And Such a good one for the shoulders, this one. Shoulder strengthening, obviously. And shrug down. I was going to do more, but we don't really have time. So go ahead and end with the one that you're on. Come up to your knees. Stretch back for a little moment here. Maybe your hands or arms are on the roller. And then we're going to sit on the roller. That's why we don't have time because I don't want to neglect our hips here. A little stretch, you know. <laughs> so sitting on the roller for a hip stretch. Find your sits bones centered there. And then crossing one leg over the other and figure four above the knee, above the ankle, foot flexed, spine lifted. Maybe take a little lean forward into that stretch. So the flat back really gives you a good stretch, right? Breathe here. And then we'll do a little roll on that hip, on that glute. So Lean over either with the leg crossed or not. You can just do a little rolling around on that side so we can massage that. Mm -hmm. This is our little mini hip <laughs> stretch and roll. Okay, and then other sides. So Whatever leg wasn't stretched or crossed over, take it over. Foot flexed, back flat. Maybe you can lean a little forward into the stretch. 
kind of whatever feels good to you. Your foot might be farther out. You might bring it closer in. And then we'll do a little bit of rolling on that side. So with your leg crossed or not, over to that side, roll around. Someday we'll get around to doing the whole hips and leg sequence. <laughs> we haven't done that in a long time. We should do that sometime soon. Oh. All right. And just go ahead and bring yourself around to sitting. Well, if you roll or if you want, or you can stay there. <laughs> okay, thanks for coming, everyone. Let's go ahead and do this.